Rose and I have cystic fibrosis and I am 31 years old. I always celebrate every birthday because when I was diagnosed at three months old, my parents had no idea what CF was and they were told that I probably wasn't going to make it past kindergarten. But what they didn't know was all of the research on the treatment and care for cystic fibrosis was about to blow those expectations out of the water. Growing up, I definitely was living life a little bit different. Not every kid was taking enzymes. Not every kid was doing treatments at night. Not every kid had to stop playing tags so they could go in and get their PTs. I remember fighting it as a kid. I never liked doing my aerosols, but in the back of my mind, I always knew this is something that's gonna help me be big and strong and live a long life. In third grade, I was able to be the guinea pig for the DuPont Hospital for Children's vest. I get to wear the vest in front of a panel of doctors, and when I finally got my vest to go home with, I was given independence. Instead of waiting for my dad to come home from work to do my PTs, instead of him waking me up in the middle of the night because he was working shift work and he would do my PTs then, I could do my vest at my own time. And all of a sudden, my CF treatment was in my hands. Flash forward a few years, I had a lung infection the summer going into high school, and I end up being in the hospital for my first week of high school. And that, that stands out to me because at that time, you're meeting all new people. I had to make sure that I was taking care of my lungs. I was balancing those things that really set the foundation and being able to talk to my mom about it and having this amazing CF community where I could feel supported in doing all of these things that my peers weren't doing, but my peers were there for me. So when I was 27, I felt good, but my lung function kept dropping. I was waking up every day more exhausted than the last. I was coughing through the night. I was having to change my patterns and sleep more just to get through the day, to drink a ridiculous amount of water just to get through a conversation with having a coughing attack. I would worry if somebody would hug me too tight because then it would cause me a coughing attack. And my lung function was pretty good compared to others with cystic fibrosis. And then it started to fluctuate. So it would go high and then it would go lower than it's ever been. And then it would raise a little bit and then go lower than it's ever been. And so I was going through this emotional journey. How do I fight as hard as I can with also accepting what's happening to my body when I can't control what's happening? I was going through that when Trakafta came out. I got to call my parents and tell them that I was approved for Trakafta and I got to see the look on my dad's face <laughs> or when my mom's whole body relaxed because they had just spent 30 years doing everything they can to make every moment count, just in case, because you never know what's around the corner. We didn't know that this miracle was right around the corner. And then I started taking Trakafta, and on the third day, I, was, I opened my eyes and I thought about my first breath, because for a long time, my first thought was, Who's in the house with me? And who am I going to wake up when I take my first deep breath of the day? And is it gonna be scary for them to hear me cough this much? And, and I took a deep breath and I let it out. And then I just started crying because I hadn't done that in so long. And now I do it every single day. And I don't take one breath for granted. And I can just, I have room in my mind for the first time to have regular thoughts that aren't completely centered around my CF. That's what the CF Foundation has given me. My family has done the CF Cycle for Life every single year since it started in Delaware County. It has been amazing! And the CF Foundation and pep rallies like this, somebody with cystic fibrosis can look around and feel this amazing amount of support from strangers who donate it, from people with no connection with cystic fibrosis, from aunts and uncles who want to do everything they can, from moms and dads who are doing everything they can. It's just this wild community that has helped me emotionally feel like we're all in this together. And I am living a wonderful, happy life, and I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you so much for letting me share my story and thank you for watching this and let's keep going and let's keep celebrating every single day.